All right. Mm -hmm. You mind introduce yourselves there for me? Kalamu Ya Salam, New yeah. Orleans. There we go. Gus Newport. Gus Vanguard Newport. Foundation. Uh huh, Vanguard. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Danny, why don't you identify? Yeah, yourself? yeah. Oh, yeah, Danny Glover. Um, I'm here in New Orleans uh, visiting Common Ground, doing the wonderful work that they're doing in the aftermath of Katrina uh, to kind of restore the work what they're doing and organizing and bringing the community back together mm -hmm. and rebuilding and rebuilding this, this city. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and as we like to uh, to think that this city is going to be built on the basis of, of, of the people. It's going to be the people's city. They're going to have a voice in this. And common ground is doing the work that's right. necessary to, to help mobilize the efforts. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. We appreciate it. All right. Yeah, we got our brother Sakura Kone, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm camera shy. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met the, ma the mayor, Malik. Thelma Mayor of Berkeley, Former Mr. Mayor. Gus Newport? Really, yes. Yeah. Hi, I'm extremely pleased to be here. I, luckily, I actually knew Malik from before, and uh -huh. he reminded me. And I've been involved in a variety of community development work, and certainly this uh, more so, this pulled the cover off America Katrina did, right. as far as racism and, 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 and who's in control. And, Neil Cloning was about everything else, so we want to be here to right. work with this. Through the people, as Danny said, is the only way to rebuild it. Right. To make sure that they're served and to make sure that they are returned. And so we want to be working with this collaboration of organizations, Common Ground, and whatever, mm -hmm. to do the right kind of thing and help identify resources as well as knowledge and all the things that it takes for people to collaborate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Please be here. Yeah, with Common Ground. Right. <laughs> There you oh go. man, that's awesome. Right yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Good. 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 A lot of trees on the house. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. it's, it's amazing. It, uh, I'm reminded in, in this effort. It, 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 with Bob, you know, Bob would know about that. The, the whole Freedom Summer bring people yeah. down. Oh yeah. People oh, come yes. from all over the country. Oh, young yeah. people, primarily young people. Yeah. You know, as I, I was telling uh, a group of young people in in in, in out of Survivor at, at a symposium. That you know, it was young people who, it was your Krumah was 25. You know? right, <laughs> King right. was 25. Right. Right. Malcolm that's was 25. Right. Well, all these right. young that's people right. who right. were doing this, that's who right. were doing that that's incredible right. work. You know? right. And all the young people who watched from block to block, you know, organizing around around, around the civil rights movement, or organizing around the party. Oh yeah. You know, oh, yeah. there were young people going from village to village. Yeah. Young people were doing that that's work. Right. You know? So I'm so good to see so many. Uh, Invigorating, invigorates us to see young people That's right. to be here, you know, oh, and be yes. a part of this, you know, and, and knowing that the, it, it's their history, their history they're making, you know, we'll be a part of it, but it's their history. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the thing that really, um, I mean, it get me on a high that I could never yeah. when yeah. I see this many yeah. young people yeah. coming around and making an impact. Yeah. Making an impact. And they're just not here, yeah. they're making Hold the impact. Yeah. Because so many of us are so drunk on prosperity and greed and that, that we don't right. see the, uh, the need yeah. for what we are going through. Come on, give me, I think he's lost again. Oh, no, it's good. Okay. <laughs> I said, look here, you're going to be bigger than your grandpa. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be looking at a hate grand, you know. <laughs> So let me have uh, whatever they think he is, he's, he's, he's really a gorgeous young man, you know, he's always a little boy, you know. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Hi. All right, then. Uh, you want to do a promo? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. My little cute friend here. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm at uh, University of North Carolina Chapel Hill. Oh, yeah. It's good to meet you. And what she's doing, she's helping us uh, rebuild. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. So what we do is they rebuild and we give them to faith-based institutions. Okay. So that they can have all uh, of them in the congregation. And that's called pulling the community. That's the thing. So, and 
the United Nations, Venezuela, the president of the United States, 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 the
everybody. Yeah. everybody. So all the places. All the places, man. When it comes to education, health care, we don't we get rid of it. You know? If they pass Franklin, you make them Have they got to Franklin yet? Hmm. Oh, first child care center? Um, hopefully within a couple of weeks. We got we got crews cleaning out the houses and we're gonna get new drywall, new paint, all of that stuff. It needs a lot of work. But um, we've got three places here in the in the ninth ward. Mm -hmm. And the first one is going to be right here on Franklin Avenue, about mm -hmm. five or six blocks down that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other two are farther that way. And uh, and then we, we're hoping to open one in Algiers mm -hmm. also. And uh, and we're going to, very, very soon, we're going to start, when, in fact, when school reopens on January 3rd, we're going to start working um, with a tutoring program over at uh, the Bergen Elementary School in Algiers. And uh, the goal is to try to start like a peer leadership program. And we'll like be overseeing it, but we want to get students out of each other out. Get strong students. Yeah, yeah helping out their fellow students. We've met Omar Moses in the Yelkin Project. You know, part of the Yelkin Project. He's on his way over here. And then he's been doing uh, it. He's been doing it. He's been doing it. Around the, uh, the uh, Southern Project. Uh, Southern Initiative around mobilizing the people, uh, math literacy, uh, peer group teaching, uh, and, and all the other things that they want. It's especially here in the No pleasures all night. I'm from here. You're from here too? I'm the only one in the county ground. Oh, you're from Ohio. I'm the only one from the county ground besides the Oh, yeah. Wait, you from, you from where? I'm from Denver. Are you, are yeah. You from Denver? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> where you from? So I just one of the links to. That's, that's the uh, quality education civil rights initiative, you know, which we've been, been building momentum. In fact, we would have a, uh, have a meeting recently, uh, uh, very soon, early next year. But I think one of the one of the initiatives around that, and that take and, and that's a broad umbrella of an organization attempts to look at look at uh, the educational problems, the national crisis, mm -hmm. and the fact that that there have to be immediate resources going to, to education. You know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know what kind of what what it takes to to to, to make schools which are formidable, which educate kids, and which make kids thinkers. You know, and that, that doesn't take a rocket scientist to do that. I think the fact is that one good it comes in terms of curriculum. Uh, teachers, committed teachers, and a committed uh, and, and committed administration to do mm -hmm. the work, and voting the money and the resources for the for the tools that are necessary to teach kids. Mm -hmm. So I, I think on the one hand, this, <coughs> and then then the involvement. I think on another level, which I found that the Algebra Project has been very strong on. The Algebra Project has been very strong on mobilizing uh, around math, mobilizing. Using math as a catalyst to mobilize the, uh, the issues around education, mm -hmm. bring people together around the issues of education, mm -hmm. and talk about the community, parents, and education, talk about young people, peer group teaching around education. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Community, as far as like, there's a, I mean, for me, I feel like there's a, not part, part of my camera, I do apologize. But what, one of the things, but you, there's, you, what, what, what my, my idea is that, that the, 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 the I'm taking your, I'm taking your, now you supposed to be down, get out of that get out of that journal. <laughs> right, all right. It, it, it's Momo, Omo right here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm actually about to head back over there. Yeah, I just had to sort out stuff about moving this space over to North Claiborne. We'll be doing that in two or three days. And so, did you come and explain to him about the women's center? Um, I also had a question um, before we fully set into it. We're going to be helping Odyssey House uh, set up a free clinic out of their space. They got money, they got space, they got money. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
at Odyssey House at uh, North Ponte and Governor Nichols. It's a big uh, inpatient rehab facility, drug rehab facility. Uh, I can't squeeze but I, I was just wondering if there was, you knew anything bad about Odyssey House. It doesn't seem like Good thing to tie up to. Uh, what we'll be going to next, uh, uh, to right uh, across the street where the lady is going in now. Oh, it's open. Yeah, it's open. Okay. So cool. Oh, did, did, did you get a chance to meet Danny? Nah. Oh, Emma, hi. Oh, right. How you doing? Good. How you da doing? Danny, how you Kim. doing? Kim, nice to meet you. Pleasure. Pleasure. <laughs> Take down the, the bad sheet rock. Oh, okay. that was uh, uh, mold yeah, infested. Yeah, yeah. So until you know, we, uh, we, we, we should yeah. Yeah. Must be the Basically, it's the initiative that Sean and basically Brandon okay. have helped put together because they came through here when it wasn't nothing. Wow. And everything you see and everything you're about to see that's over here in the night was is, uh, is an effort that they have uh, basically done. Yeah. And this is the first uh, women's shelter to uh, open uh, since the hurricane. Wow. What we do as far as Plans are we're gonna have, we're gonna try and open up another building to be a, like a secret shelter. Uh, but for right uh, now, what we do is we got a big bar we throw against there at mm -hmm. night, and then uh, one of us sleeps out in the truck right outside every uh, night to make sure that nothing goes on. Uh, yeah. So from here we're gonna go over to okay. Uh, All right. <laughs> Okay. And, uh, you want to go by some of the child care co-op centers that we're starting on? I don't know what time we're going to. Well, one's right at Franklin, and the other one's right there. So they're, they're right. We haven't worked on them yet, but I could, uh, I could get Jackie out there to the one place. Oh, and she's going to be the one right now. We're going to the gym. Where is Huh? I don't know. I thought you were trying to get Jackie to go out to the place. I'll call him up, but uh. 
Ik ben ook klaar voor de